Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Just wanted to show you how to make these little wicking cups. Okay, so I start with a styrofoam cup, and you want one that's got that's got a rim. So when this fits into it, you can see that gives a little bit of an offset for the uh, nutrients, so you can bottom water these. So what I do is cut out three corners off the bottom, and then I twist a center hole out for the uh, for the wick. So I just use a really sharp knife. Corners out like that. So I've been cutting quite a few of these. My knife actually is not as sharp as it was. So I twist out a center hole for the wick, and so that's how that looks. And what I'm going to do is fill this with a wheel draining mix. Um, you could use like a potty mix. I use either cocoa core or cocoa core mixed with perlite. And so I'll install the wick first and then kind of pre-fill this and then and add the plant and, and then top up with the potty mix. Okay, so um, for the wick, you can use anything that'll um, wick water or nutrients. I use these microfiber cloths. Maybe not the best thing, and they seem to work fine. You could use like the little corner strip here and also the um, just the middle part. I just need to cut a few of these anyway, so yes, yeah, so I just cut mine like this. And for like one cup, I mean you could, depending on how deep your reservoir is, I usually cut mine in half like that. And I'll take my cup and just push in the middle here. And if you're going to keep it in the bottom cup, you can just leave a little bit hanging out, but if it's going to go in something deeper, I leave a little more. And then there's a piece. You could also do like um, cut two holes and just kind of loop it over so you have two pieces hanging down. So people do that. But I'm going to leave about that much in there. And that gives me a little something. So I want to show how I plant these up. This is a Blue Christmas that I just pulled out of my little DIY hydroponic system I made. Uh, I'm just going to kind of pre fill this a little bit. And what I've got here is cocoa with a little bit of um, perlite. You could use any kind of well draining potting mix. Uh, I like cocoa core because it drains well. It allows for root mobility. So I leave kind of like a little indention. There's my plant. Try to get these roots spread out as well as I can. Kind of shake it a little bit. And I just fill the potty mix in around it. Make sure I don't bury the leaves. So yeah, so that's ready to go. And I'll write the name and date on the side here. I'll top water this and just kind of run water through to flush this out and um, let that drain. Put nutrients up to about there. You don't want the nutrients hitting the bottom. You want to leave a little bit of an air gap between the bottom and the nutrient line. Kind of get an idea there how far you can go. So I usually fill mine, you know, about an inch or so. You want to have a little bit of an air gap. That way this can wick up what it needs. Eventually the roots are going to grow out of these holes. Yeah, so you can just keep it in there like that. And that's all you have to do. So that's that one's ready to go. So I, I do have to flush it out. This is a fish pepper that I did on 3-3, um, three, three, so about less than two weeks ago. And it was a lot smaller than this when I transplanted it. But it's doing well. And you can see where the roots are starting to come out. Just starting to poke through the bottom there. Won't be long before they uh, they start growing out more. Yeah, so this is what I, I'm probably going to move this to like a, a toad at some point. Like cut three inch holes in the lid and then drop this down in there. And then this can kind of feed up out of a larger container. Because uh, when they get bigger, they drink these up really fast. So. It's been about a day. Here's this wood Christmas that I transplanted. It's looking very, very good. Here's one. This is a purple scorpion that I did a while back. You can see that there's some roots coming out, but it's it's doing very well. All of these are set up this way. I did have a few that were taking needing a little time to adjust. They kind of limp, but um, uh, I think they'll pull out just fine. Most of these didn't have any problems at all. Anyway, um, thank you very much for watching. Hope you found that useful. Please like, comment, and subscribe.